Welcome back to Catherine's Backyard Garden. Uh, I would like to thank all the the people out there that send me condolence during the death of my son. I read your comment. I really do appreciate it. It was a shock to our family. Everybody is grieving differently. Uh, each day I get a little bit stronger. I am accepting the things that I cannot change. So um, I just wanted to come out and let you know that I see your your comment. Thank you so much, Renee. I see it. And um, yes, the other lady, um, I saw her comment as well. I can't remember her name, uh, but you know who I'm talking about. Uh, and I did start a memorial garden here right in the raised bed. Uh, this is where I have the memorial garden. And these are the last pairs of shoes that he had on. So I put some flowers in there. And I come out here from time to time. And um, just sit. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Our family really appreciate it. And I want you to see that I did start my garden for the, the for the winter, but I started it so late. So my kale is, they're trying to do okay. They're doing okay. I don't want to say trying. They're doing okay. But this time last year, you know, this was... Last year they were doing better, but we were having up and down weather, so that may have something to do uh, with it. it. It seemed like it's it's not growing as fast as it did before, but like I say, I started late, so everything is still coming along. We were having cold weather, and that's unusual for the South. You know, we really have cold weather, but we were having um, weather where it was hot one day and then it was cold the next day then it was hot in the evening and then it was cold in the afternoon so we were having all type of crazy weather but this is the kale uh, this is the red Russian kale right here and that's another type of kale right over there uh, and there's some more kale here and then I have I got this spinach my sister went to Italy, and she brought me the spinach back. And um, I put, I plant this bed here with spinach, but it didn't do well. Some of them live, and and you know, these is the only one that I have that's trying to live again. Uh, try to live, and um, you know, um, I don't. Sometimes I do all right with spinach, but. I'm learning spinach, and spinach do not love hot weather, and we were having warm weather, and um, so I'm grateful for what I have over there, um, that I got over there. Now, I had some bok choy over here, and, and um, I fixed, I ate all the bok choy. I cut them because I noticed, like I say, you know, this one was seeding because it got hot and they start bringing out their seed. And I, I think I heard somebody say when it gets seed, it get bitter. But I'm telling you, mine had gotten some seed and um, I cut around it and I ate them and they were good. So I went and just harvest the one that was having seed. So now what I did, I add, and I know it may be too early for potatoes, <laughs> but I put it in the bed anyway, <clears throat> and then I heavy compost it. I heavy put these straws over it, and I hope that the straw would preserve them in the ground. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'll see. I had a few cabbage over here, and um, um, they're coming along slowly, you know. They're not as good as they was last year. But um, what I'm learning, that I'm going to have to buy the seeds that has a, a shorter 
harvest time. And I think I'm explaining that right. Before I used to just, pet, you know, see people having seeds and and um, I would go out and buy and not reading it, reading the package like I should and um, putting it in the ground. Well, some of them that ha- has a like 120 harvest day, uh, some of them might have 80, uh, 90 harvest day, and um, uh, I think that's uh, what I, for me is too long because um, you know when you're doing say tomatoes, um, tomatoes. Um, I thought at one time tomatoes had love heat. You know that's what they were telling me. Tomatoes don't like a whole lot of heat. As I did my research, I find out that um, it gets too hot here, you know, and you need to start with your tomatoes early. So, yeah, I began to do things a little bit different because I see how the, the weather, climate change, and all that stuff is affecting my garden. So um, I'm going to be looking for seeds that has a shorter harvest time. And that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for the summer. I needed to get started with my, um, do my greenhouse and start with my seed. And um, yeah, I'm getting stronger. Every day I'm getting a little bit stronger. And um, I'm doing a little bit more. You know, because at one point I wasn't doing anything. I wanted to do this video to let you see what I have in the garden and what's going on here. Um, I think with these uh, kale, it's going to be more like a spring harvest because it was planted so late. But yeah, guys, I'm back. I'll be starting to put out a little some more videos but thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment you have a wonderful day try to stay warm because <laughs> it's cold here try to stay out the snow and I'll see you in my next video.